drop the brace. What's up, guys? Ryan and Mike here from Full House RS, and today we are doing our week ahead video, week 28. So, obviously, this week there wasn't like one huge update. But there are a lot of small updates that we just wanted to talk about because, you know, some of them, I don't think people realize how awesome they are. So, yeah. obviously, the first thing we have is the tool belt. Mike, did you bind anything? Yeah, the dragon hatchet I put on there. I don't have a dragon pickaxe bot yet because I'm planning on getting my own, so... Yeah, I bound both my dragon hatchet and my dragon pick. If I would have had it, I would have uh, bound it, so... Yeah. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it because like Rune is good enough in most cases, but I figured, you know, why not? <laughs> be a com be a completionist, Ryan. Be a completionist. Yeah. Completionist mentality. And then next, uh, another I guess important thing, the high level bands that I made a video on earlier. So, I've heard like different numbers everywhere, but on a Google Doc I found on the high level forums, it's like a confirmed 120 people like 100 yeah. percent confirmed one of them was actually in our clan i i wonder if those 120 were like only the high level and if there were more banned that we just don't know about because well i'm sure there were lower people banned but like it's a big deal when it's a big yeah banned. when they're All trimmed people were oh, yeah three or four trim people everyone on that list was over 2400 at least and I thought it was funny, like, the next day I was looking through our YouTube channel and one of our recommended videos was by somebody who got banned. Yeah, but yeah, one of them was in our clan, which I thought was kind of funny. We actually kicked him, like, right before the banning because I thought he was botting. <laughs> yeah, he was in our, uh, or he was in our clan but and online, but not in our clan chat. So if you're not, if you're going to join our clan and not be in the clan chat, what's the point? So it's yeah, like, and it's not like he caps or anything. I don't know why the hell he thought it would be a good idea to join. I don't know. So yeah, I just kicked him, and then a day later he got banned. That's whatever. Yeah. The other updates we have are tougher Slayer monsters. They made some HP adjustments and I guess some uh, small attack adjustments to monsters such as Abbey Specs, Living Rock Creatures, Mutated Jinko Jadinkos, Water Fiends, and Dust Devils. Uh, I can confirm that Dust Devils and Water Fiends aren't that much worse. Uh, Abbey Specs, I think I did one of those two, and they weren't that much worse. Except I did for Abbey you... Specs. Yeah, if you're cannoning them, I guess they're pretty difficult. Yeah, because I had like a lot on them at once, and I was using like Vampirism, and that was the only thing keeping me alive. Like I had to use, I used a Bunyip, and I had to use Soul Split once in a while, and I'm glad I got that champ scroll early spoiler alert <laughs> <clears throat> and speaking of cannon eating aberrant specters that brings us into a nice segue into the new cannon update yeah yeah so for the cannon update they made it to where the golden and royal cannon fire 60 and 90 cannonballs respectively and that's great for ryan so he can use more cannonballs in a shorter amount of time well actually <laughs> it uses the same amount but it makes it feel like you're using more yeah, and at least it's a little more AFK. Yeah. the can Does the cannon still gr degrade at the same amount of time, though? Yep. So, like, it's is it after how many cannons are, or cannonballs are fired? No, or it's, is it just it's, every, um, it's every, like, 20 minutes. Oh, okay, then it doesn't affect it that much. It's just the yeah. fact that you don't have to reload it every five seconds. Yeah, it's nice that they added something small like that. Mm-hmm. And speaking of the small more updates, uh, they changed Dragon's Weaknesses to Bolts. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Should they were weak to arrows. I, I can kind of see <laughs> what they were going with it, was uh, so people would have another, like, more of an incentive to get super anti-fires, but super anti-fires were pretty high up, like 85, and you get dragons at... I think I got them at 45, 50 Slayer. Yeah, you, get so. them at, you start getting them at, like, um, Vanaka. And so it's like, you should have made them weak to bolts, or given us a uh, dragon fire long shield bow or something. Yeah, something like that. So they also removed the damage limit from cer certain bosses. I am pretty sure they did it with, like, QBD and Calfi King, right? And Nex. Mm -hmm. And Nex. Uh, I haven't tried out any of them, 
But from what I hear, especially at Cal Fight King, it's like a shitload harder than what it used to be. Yeah, Jason hit a 12k on Cal Fight King. Yeah, but now the minions, when they come up, they hit you. Mm-hmm. And the more people you have, the more minions there are, the more damage you get on you. Fun fact, the most effective way to take it down now is apparently duo so that there are less minions. Yeah, because they actually matter now. So I think they'll probably change that again because they wanted it to be a group boss, and if <laughs> if it's more effective to do it duo, it defeats the purpose of it being a group boss. Yeah. Now I'm sure they'll fix everything. Like any anything that came out wrong, they'll fix it. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So they also fix port armors. Well, not fix port armors, but fix the way you make them. So what was happening to a lot of people were, if you had saved up all of like your chi or something, and you wanted to make a like a helmet, you would make like five helmets. And you know some people wound up making like two of them by accident, and there's Really no point to doing that. And it was also the um, tradable, non-superior version of it that came up first. And after I heard a lot of people that this happened to, I was really careful when I was doing it. Same. <laughs> but now they fixed it so that I guess nobody else will get fucked up by that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> a very nice update they did is they made the quest tab toggle actually work. Woo! But yeah, that's really awesome because I feel like I always clicked on that thing. Even when I wasn't clicking on it, my my mouse could be at the top of my screen and my quest tab would open up. I'm like, didn't click it. Yeah, it's really annoying. I'm glad they finally fixed it. Mm-hmm. And speaking of interface changes, they also added, it's when you go to your emo tab, you have like different kinds, like all and then all unlocked. It'll stay on whatever one you set it to. So for me, that like I have all of the loyalty store emotes, but obviously not all of them. But now I'll be able to like see which emotes I have and only the ones I have, which is pretty nice. And to be honest, I didn't even know there were options to get rid of some of those. Another update they did is now if you were to say DC at a boss after you died or DC'd and then died... Uh, and you logged on, and you somehow logged into the wrong world, you weren't sure what world you were on, it'll give you a message telling you which world your grave was on. So you'll be able to get back to it, you know, without having to ask somebody, which world was I just on? And then them going, I don't know what world you were on. And although they did do that, I'm not sure if this is because of that fix, or and they broke something else, but items disappearing from graves is still happening. Yeah. On Darden's live stream, mm-hmm. everyone lost a lot of stuff. I know he lost, what was it, like a couple hundred mil and... 400 mil. Yeah, like 400 mil and uh, POP armor. Yeah. I, but I'm wondering if it was because of this update that broke it, or was it still always broken and nobody just fixed it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't... I'm thinking if it's taken it this long to fix it, there's got to be like a limitation with the signed integer thing Mm -hmm. the 2.14 yeah it's uh, it's something weird but they need to fix that because it's getting pretty ridiculous the Mm -hmm. only time people are losing items is because of glitches and disconnects so yeah need a money sink somewhere (laughs) yeah this is a bad way of money sink bad way (laughs) (laughs) and the last update that we can really talk about uh think to talk about at least is the info clerk at the Varrock Library will tell you what you need for kudos if you're missing some of them. And I remember Jason was missing two kudos and had no idea what they were, so he had to guess yeah, what the all they were. Me too. And I was tr- I was like trying to figure out. I was like, I did all of this, but then I found out, like on the bottom floor, you can clean the artifacts and shit. There was a couple that I was missing. Mm-hmm. And now you don't have to do that. You just talk to the clerk, and all of a sudden. Bam, you know what it is, and you can go do it. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so that's about it for the updates. What about your videos this week, Ryan? Well, I'm going to do a Road to Trim comp. I was going to do one yesterday, but it was like Saturday going into Sunday, and today's actually my birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan! Today is in Sunday the 23rd, so... Happy go- late birthday, Ryan! <laughs> yeah. So, uh... I just didn't feel like doing it. But I'll definitely do it on either Monday or Tuesday. He's now 12 years old. 
Yep. Very deep voice for a 12 year old. I to say. But I'm actually 20 now. It feels weird not being a teenager. Oh. In terms of my other videos for this week, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I wasn't really able to think of anything. I'll probably think of something in the middle of the week. But uh, if not, it's probably going to be a one-off video because I did like two or three of those last week and I thought they came out pretty well. Yeah. So my videos for this week are my Barrows, my Treasure Trail, and my Road to Max. I'm going to have all three out this week. I've already got most of the Barrows and the Treasure Trail stuff done, so I will be able to get those finished relatively early. And then the rest of the week, I'm going to be working on getting 2,000 total, or at least as close to it as possible. I I think if I really pushed, I could get it, because my thieving is low, and that's easy to get up. Summoning, I have tons of sh- charms, and S- Slayer gets like five skills up at once, so... I think if I worked hard enough, I could get 2k total by the end of the week. Uh, you can do it. If not, I'm definitely going to get 1980. Seems reasonable. So anyways, guys, that's our week 28 recap. Been a, long, a short 28 weeks since we created this channel, honestly. But, yep, we'll see you next time for a new video. See ya. So anyways, guys, that's our week 28 week recap <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little drunk leave me alone <laughs> I told you you were fucking drunk god damn it <laughs> wait a minute you're not 21 illegal <laughs> <laughs>